Hi and welcome to InstaSuite. In this training video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Webinar X with your Webinar Funnel. So right now, we are already logged into our InstaSuite account. So from here, we first need to make sure that we have a funnel that we can use for this example. So right now, we're going to click on Build Funnel and we're going to quickly create a Webinar Funnel here. You can also use a product launch and add a webinar page or opt-in page that connects to your other connects to your webinar. All right. So let's actually do that instead. Let's do a product launch. Click on next, and let's say we only have one launch video. All right. Click on next, and let's say this is going to be a InstaSuite Webinar X inter integration call. All right. So we're going to have it here. Click on build funnel. And from here, we're going to have our opt-in page. We're going to have our launch video. We're going to have our upsells as well. So let's me remove this one here. And our opt-in page, right, this is going to be our webinar page instead. So let me just rename this. Our launch webinar opt-in. All right, there we go. Click on that. We're going to select a template for this. All right, so something that has a quick email form or a sign up form that they can use. So we're going to click on do this one, for example, we'll click on choose. And now we have selected a template and now we should be redirected to the drag and drop builder. All right. And from here, you'll be able to see that we have a subscribe button here, a subscribe form. You can make changes to this as well. So if you want to make changes, just click on edit text. All right. But our main concern is to use this form here inside Webinar X. Alright, so what we need to do is just mouse over that field. Now make sure that you are selecting the entire thing here. As you can see from the square, make sure that the blue box is not selecting the button or the field here. Instead, be selecting the entire form here, including the email field as well as the subscriber or the subscribe button there. So as you can see, it's now selecting the entire thing. We're going to click on form settings. And under form settings, you'll be able to see under form action, custom integration. And we're going to have here input hidden fields that we want to use. All right. So to get those hidden fields, we need to use or log into our Webinar X account. So right now, you should see Webinar X members area here. And we're going to click on webinars. Again, we are already on this page here. We can see all of our webinars here. We can also click on create new webinar. Let's say, for example, we're going to put a name, the same name here. Let's say InstaSuite Webinar X Integration. All right, there we go. So let's put in the same description here. We can select either it's going to be a private or hidden webinar. Let's make that public for now. Let's uncheck that one. Click on next step. We select a list that we want to invite to our webinar. Let's say if you have an existing email list here that you want to invite to your webinar, you can just select that list there. Or you can put a new list where customers will be registered just for this webinar itself. All right. So we're just going to select KV customer list here. Click on next. We're going to select the time zone that we want. Let's say our time zone will be Eastern. So let's see, let's see if we can find it. There we go, minus 5. Put the start date to April 14, for example. Time to be at, let's see, let's see 8 a.m. And the duration for this is going to be one hour, one hour and a half. Click on Next. We can also send or associate this one with a specific subscriber list and exclude, for example, for those who already bought as well. And of course, select the number of panelists that can help us with the chat platform as well. So let's say we're going to select Alvin and KV Social Support. We're going to just leave the associated subscriber list and ex excluded list here. Click on Add. And our webinar is now created here. So the next thing you need to do is click on the Edit button. And from here, this is where you'll be able to get the form codes as well. So in order to do that, we simply go to integrations. And as you can see from here, we have our form code that we can copy and paste here. So we can either show the first name and last name or uncheck that, that one if you only want to collect email addresses. So if your field in InstaSuite only collects email addresses, make sure to uncheck the first name and last name. 
All right. So we're going to go back here. We go back to integrations. We copy this entire code here. And I'm going to uncheck both first name and, and last name since I don't have that in my field. We're going to generate. There we go. We have a new code that we can copy here. So once we have copied the code here, we simply go back to the, the drag and drop builder. Again, we're going to highlight the entire form here. All right, just move your mouse outside and you can see the, the blue box here highlighting everything inside, including the form and the buy button as well. We're going to click on form settings. And from here, under form action, we're going to select custom integration here. All right, under custom integration, you're going to click on parse raw html form and this is where you paste that code that you got from webinar x here instead all right so paste that code there there we go click on process form code and it should automatically fill in the submission url and the details as well on where what goes where all right click on publish and you click on exit and now if you click on visit page here, you're going to have a fully integrated opt-in page that goes and is integrated with your WebinarX webinar here as well. And of course, once it's time, just simply switch to live and start your webinar on WebinarX. As for tutorials on how to start your webinar, you can just click on the tutorial section here for a quick recap.